For my 22nd birthday back in October, I was lucky enough to be given a Polaroid 600. This is a brilliant point and shoot camera and I was really excited to give it a go. I'd loaded it with an impossible project black and white film that had been waiting for a good weekend when the weather wasn't too lousy, which in Cardiff seems to be almost impossible to find. It's probably no coincidence then that this weekend I took it with me to visit a friend in Swansea and we decided to have a go at shooting some photos down at the SA1 Marina. We took a walk along the seafront where I shot the first photo. It developed pretty well for a first attempt, considering there was a glow from the low winter sun directly to our side, and it was freezing, which, if developing temperatures are too low, can cause the image to turn out too light. However, the central image is in focus, and the picture retained detail as seen in the tyre tracks on the sand and the flats and building behind. We continued our walk and came to the harbour itself. The docks were lined with row upon row of boats and yachts, and I thought, this is a good setting for a second photo. I like this image because of the equal proportion of harbour and sky, but it lacks sharpness because there is not a central focal point. I think the snap appears blurry because I was shooting objects that were too far away, and this Polaroid only has a distance range of up to 1.2 metres. Lesson learnt. By this time, we need something to warm us up, and began to head to a cafe over the bridge. For the next photo, we adjusted the exposure control to darken the image, which seems to have worked. However, there are unwanted white flecks at the bottom of the photo, which apparently can be caused by damaging the image during its development. We finally stopped inside the Toucan Cafe for a hot chocolate and piece of cake. The contrast of this photo compared to those outside is pretty obvious. It's much darker, possibly due to the lighting range, and also because it was, thankfully, much warmer inside. Although this photo has given me dark smudges on my face, I like that details beyond the focal image can be seen, such as the piece of carrot cake to the left and the white and silhouette of a woman in the background to the right. It seems that shooting with the Polaroid may not be just a simple case of point and click after all, but the blemishes and different tones make each of these Polaroid images unique, and for a first attempt, I don't think they came out half bad.